The resistances of all the bulbs in this circuit are identical. The correct combination of readings on the ammeters A1, A2 and A3 is... Remember that a parallel circuit has branches in it. All the current has to flow through the main part of the circuit. But at the branches, the current splits. If there are two branches, then at the branch, some of the current goes through one of the branches and the rest goes through the other branch. That's why we say I main equals I1 plus I2. That tells us that the current in the main part of the circuit splits into I1, the part of the current that goes through branch 1, and I2, the part of the current that goes through branch 2. Of course, if there were three branches, it would be plus I3 and so on. The circuit in our question has two amps flowing through the main part of the circuit. And it splits into two branches. And we are told that each of the branches is just as resistant as the other because all the bulbs have the same resistance. And so the current will split equally at the branch. Half of 2 amps is 1 amp. So 1 amp flows through branch 1 and 1 amp flows through branch 2. And then the 2 amps join again to flow through the main part of the circuit back to the negative terminal. So we can see that ammeter 1, A1, is measuring I main. We know that is 2 amps because here we have the main part of the circuit, here we have the branch part of the circuit, and then here again the main part of the circuit. And the current strength in the main part of the circuit, whether it be here or here, is the same as one another. In this case we are told that 2 amps. And then that 2 amps splits. Half of it goes through the first branch, and half of it goes through the second branch. A2 measures how much of the current goes through the first branch. A3 measures how much of the current goes through the second branch. Since the two branches are equally resistant, the same amount of current goes through each, 1 amp. So option C is the correct option. A1, 2 amps. A2, 1 amp. A3, 1 amp.